Hey friends, if you are a beginner in the gym, you're going to want to watch this video. Here are the six things I wish I knew when I was getting started on my fitness journey. Number one is figure out your fitness goals. When I first started in the gym, my goals were vague because I didn't have a clear idea of what I was striving for. I eventually decided to work on building a strong body overall because I had a lot of weak spots and didn't have much muscle strength in general. Once I got to a point where I was happy with my strength level, then my new goal was to put on more muscle mass. Having a plan is going to help you stay consistent at the gym, and I think one of the reasons people quit early on is because they don't know what goal they are trying to obtain. Think about your why for lifting, and then go from there. Number two is do your research. The first few years in the gym, I really didn't know what I was doing and was basically just winging it with my exercises. I had a one-time session with a trainer, but didn't bother to follow through with any sessions after that. To get the most out of your workouts, I would recommend either working with a trainer or watching videos of the exercises you want to do. Of course, you don't have to follow just any advice you receive from the videos, but pick what makes the most sense to you and go with that. And don't give up on an exercise just because you are not naturally good at it. There are a lot of exercises that I didn't used to do very well, but I kept watching tutorials from people who had already perfected the skill and eventually I perfected it as well. Number three is eating habits. When you eat plays an important role in how well your body functions before and after your workouts. I used to be pretty bad about eating a substantial amount of food before lifting, and therefore I would get lightheaded during many of my workouts. From what I've seen, most people need to fuel their bodies with food before working out. And for me, I feel so much more focused and energized when I have some carbs and protein in my system before I start exercising. The best time for me to eat is about 45 minutes before my workout, but everyone is different. You may have to experiment a bit to see when you should eat before the gym. And then after the gym, I will have more protein and carbs, usually in the form of a protein shake. The last point I wanna make on eating habits is how much food you should eat. And the body is pretty intuitive. The body will let you know how much food it needs. And I, I think that I have probably doubled the amount of food that I used to eat. I think I eat double what I ate maybe three or four years ago because I'm lifting a lot more now and my body needs the extra protein and carbs. And so I don't really count calories or anything like that. You can if you want, but your body will let you know if you need more or less food. Number four is consistency. Keep showing up even if you're at the gym for just 20 minutes. I was pretty good at being consistent with my workouts from the start, but of course that consistency definitely improved over time. Some of my best workouts actually occurred on the days where I didn't feel like showing up. It felt, and it felt really good to know that I was following through and holding myself accountable for reaching my goals. And this really ties in with my first point about setting a goal for yourself. If you know why you are lifting, you will be more likely to stay consistent with it. Number five is let yourself rest. Depending on how much you do at the gym, you might be really sore in the beginning when your body is getting accustomed to lifting. I give myself one to two rest days per week, depending on how I feel. When you lift, your body goes through a lot. You are tearing the muscle fibers and in order to allow them to heal and rebuild, you must give them time to rest. Number six is never mind what others are doing. I used to feel really self-conscious when I was new in the gym. I compared myself to the other lifters and their progress, but I eventually realized that we were all new in the gym at one time 
and instead of comparing my workouts to someone else's, I can get inspired by the people who have achieved what I'm striving to achieve. If you still feel con distracted by other people around you, you could try working out with music. I always wear my headphones when I'm not working out with friends and the upbeat music helps me stay focused and zoned in on my workout. So that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought and if you learned anything new. Thanks for watching and see you next time.